David, how hey, are we doing? Going? Good morning. Good Do you morning. mind if I join you? I'm actually kind of busy right Fantastic. now. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how are we sure. doing? Take a seat. Uh, pretty good. Let's have a little catch up. Yeah, sure. Why not? What's been happening? You know, just hanging out, having a coffee, uh, enjoying my morning. Doing uh, your thing. Exactly. Uh, how about you? Doing my thing. Perfect. Cheers Come for on. letting me join you. Yeah, and, no problem. Uh, cheers. cheers. How's uh, Montenegro for you so far? Uh, it's been very nice. Um, I've just played the one tournament so far, no good in that. But yeah, it's a great experience. The resort is very nice, very beautiful. Uh, yeah, I love it here. And I'm going to cut to the chase. A lot of people tell me, when I ask them who the best player in the world is, it's either you or Stephen Chidwick. Are they right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's tough to say. I mean, there's so many great players. It's, it can be very difficult to distinguish who's, you know, I guess, the best. So I, I don't really think about that. I don't, I just try to play and just always try to get better. But you know you're pretty good, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> did you learn by studying or did you just play and learn? Um, for the first part of my career, it was mostly just playing and learning. Uh, I just kind of just played nonstop, tried to play different games, different like, you know, formats of Nolan Hold'em and eventually kind of shifted more into spending much more time studying away from the table, which helped my game, which was huge for me. Now these events have got some huge buy-ins. Uh, rumor has it that sometimes you completely 100% stake yourself. Is, is that true? <laughs> um, usually. <laughs> well, hopefully my mom's not watching. But <laughs> well, I mean, between uh, I swap quite a bit, and that kind of helps lower the buy-in and uh, stuff like that. So if, if you swap quite a, quite a lot and kind of have 5% here, 5% there, that that definitely helps to lower the buy-in. So. That takes balls. How do you remain calm knowing that all that's at stake? You um, must be rich, Dave. <laughs> I've worked it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm used to it. Uh, the stakes don't really affect me, I guess. I'm just gotten so numb to it. It all kind of <laughs> just, that definitely helps being a poker player for so long is it just, you just kind of get numb to situations like this. So kind of a blessing and a cursing, I guess. <laughs> uh, you and I know. You're <laughs> one of the world's best, if not top two, as we mentioned. But is there any players that seem to get the better of you and you can't work out why? The one person I just can't seem to, <laughs> I've run pretty bad against, I guess, is Foxen. Uh, kind of just, you know, situations come up and lose some all ends or kind of just like on the wrong end of a cooler or this or that. But I mean, that's poker. I try not to let that, I don't know, bother me too much. And I don't know, I guess. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of players that give you fits. Uh, players like, you know, like Stevie, like you mentioned, uh, Bonomo, Jason Kuhn. I mean, there's just a lot of, a lot of great players that are constantly putting you in difficult spots. You're going to put it to bed today and smash Fox and up <laughs> all over the place. Exactly. <laughs> now, a lot of people tell me uh, that you're like a young Seidel. Is it more the case that he's like an old you? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have gotten that comparison quite a bit. Um, yeah, I guess we have similar demeanors. Uh, we're both kind of quiet at the table, kind of just do our own thing. You get on as, as people as well? Yeah, no, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah, we're cool. Um, yeah, definitely someone to try and aspire to be like. Uh, definitely a good person to kind of look up to, I guess. Now, I want to know if your perfect day includes playing poker. My perfect day includes playing poker. <laughs> if it's like a super high roller final table, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else would you throw into that day? Um, I don't know, just be hanging out with friends, having a good time, uh, maybe like self celebrating the victory. <laughs> yeah, just kind of enjoying a nice day, uh, maybe in a nice, interesting place such as Mon Montenegro. Uh, you seem quite a private guy, but we've seen little snippets of uh, you dancing or whatever. Do you have any other hidden talents we don't know about? Like, can you rap or something? Any other hidden talents? Um, if, if I'm drunk enough, I can sometimes rap. <laughs> you can rap, yes. Uh, what, what kind of rap? Like freestyle or? No, I, it's been many years. I think I'm out of the rap game, but <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to do it. But is it like, a, you, do you know like all the rhymes from Eight Mile or? Um, yeah, kind of just like old school hip hop or something like that. Knew it, knew it, knew it. When you just sense a rapper. Yeah, you, you just gotta a rapper, yeah. a little battle sometimes with, with friends. I knew you could spit lyrics. I knew it. <laughs> do people recognize you much in public? Uh, I guess recognized sometimes in public, uh, quite a bit at, at poker stops, but kind of, 
every once in a while in like non poker places too. So it was kind of kind of cool, and interesting. And do you play up to you? You're like, yeah, it, it is me, D Peters. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, no, I just kind of talk to him, and just it's always fun to hear like kind of see someone who respects respects my game or whatever, or enjoys watching me play. So it's cool to talk to people like that. Give them a few impromptu bars. Yeah. <laughs> Which celebrity would you most like to play poker against? Which celebrity? Um, I might go with LeBron. That'd be that'd be fun. I, I I've heard he plays some poker. Yeah. So yeah, that that'd be that'd be a lot of fun. If you had to be stuck in a room for like a week with a poker player, someone from the circuit, who would you choose and why? Um, so just anyone from the poker circuit. Anyone we might know, just so it works. Hmm. You can't say your mate Graham from school. <laughs> um, I'm sure Graham's a nice guy, but I'm gonna go with go with Rick Solomon. Rick Solomon, why? Yeah. Just, just a good. Oh, it just seems like yeah, he seems like a fun guy. He seems like a very interesting kind of cool, cool guy to pick his brain and just you know have some fun. <laughs> do you still have friends from when you were young, and and what do they think of your lifestyle? Uh, yeah, I still have some friends. Uh, no, they they think it's very cool. Um, they, you know, like to follow me and kind of see how I'm doing and catch up every once in a while when I'm back home or if they kind of visit whatever city I'm in. So, I guess it, you know, it becomes more difficult with my lifestyle to kind of keep keep up with old friends who you don't really see much, maybe once a year or something. So that can be tough, but yeah, it, it's nice to catch up with old friends. Now, we, we know you've got a good sense of humor. What's the last thing that really cracked you up, made you burst out laughing? The or last thing that made me laugh? Um, yeah, I always think it's funny when maybe Jungle Man and his antics, he was at my table last night and just kind of just watching him, how he loses like a three big blind pot and just like chucks the cards and I <laughs> just like <laughs> can't handle it. I don't know, I, I, I see him at his antics at the table, I guess is, can be pretty funny. There's no one quite like Jungle Man. Is he there? really is one of a kind. I don't think there'll ever be another Jungle Man. <laughs> What's the best thing about being a poker player besides the money? Um, just the freedom, the ability to travel, to see the world, um, kind of just experience life, go to different places, experience different cultures. Um, you don't have a, at least for me anyways, I don't have like someone to like, a, like a boss kind of tell me like, I have to be here, I can kind of just do whatever I want and kind of go wherever I want. So I, I love that about it. And the hardest thing about being a folk player? Um, it can make relationships difficult, uh, whether romantic relationships or friend relationships. Uh, you know, kind of never, not really being in one place a lot. You go long periods of time without seeing people or it's tough to keep in contact, I guess. So whereas someone who just, you know, lives in one city, they can just see their friends every day. They can, uh, it's never really an issue. So I guess, I guess I'd say that. Now you've had a lot of results in this game. You're really, really good at it. But what would you like to achieve? What's still on the uh, checklist? Um, I don't know. Maybe getting first uh, all-time money winner would be would be very cool, and that's something hopefully I can achieve someday. Bonimo's got a pretty big lead, <laughs> but it's gonna be tough. But yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, you know, maybe winning Player of the Year again, or kind of just I don't know. I, I guess I don't really think too much about stuff like that. Mainly just always trying to get better and um, confident in my game, and just have put up good results and. Yeah, I guess that's mainly what I... Just keep having fun. Right? Yeah. If there was a book about your life so far, what would you call it? Um, it's a tough question. I know my, my dad always, he's, he keeps telling me that he wants me to write a book. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll have to think about that. Um, maybe, maybe someday. Uh, he's been saying that for a, a while now. <laughs> but uh, maybe we could give you some ideas. Uh, the Silent Killer. That's a good one. D Pete's from the streets. Nice, yeah. Maybe they need a bit yeah, of work. Yeah, I think we're on to something. We're on to we'll something. get there. Yeah. You need my help? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll message you about it. That could we'll, be a we'll, ghost writer. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll think of something okay, good. Okay. <laughs> but it's safe to say you, you've done pretty good out of poker, isn't it? Done pretty well, yeah. Fantastic. Do you mind getting these two coffees then? <laughs> I got so you, yeah. Good luck today. <laughs> cheers, cheers, buddy. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah, thank you.